This is my sister Grace. She has been practicing her handstands all summer. So if she can beat me in a handstand competition, I will let her control my life for 24 hours. I better make Anna go get a haircut. It's gotten way too long. To make this fair, we each only have one chance to do our handstand. The best one yet. I think I actually have a chance in this. Grace did do really good, but I've been doing handstands for a long time, so I'm feeling pretty confident about this. To step it up a bit, I'm going to hold a contortion handstand. I just lost a handstand competition to Grace. I can hold a handstand way longer than that. I need to redeem myself with that handstand. Much better. Now she gets to control my life for the next 24 hours, so I'm not very excited about this. <laughs> so now I'm gonna make Anna do something outside of her comfort zone. I'm gonna have her go find some strangers and make them flexible. I'm a little bit shy, especially with people I don't know, and my friend Nathan is really flexible too, so he's going to help me out today. Free flexibility lessons. Free flexibility lessons. Hi. How are you? I'm making a video. I wouldn't know if you were gonna do it because you live in Canada. Today I want to learn how to do a higher scorpion. There you go. That is so good already. Do you want to try a scale instead of reaching over? You're gonna pull it up like this. That was awesome. We're really good. I could see Anna McNulty here make my whole summer, and she just runs into you. What's a flexibility trick you really want to learn? A chin stand. One way to do a chin stand is to roll into it and then just straighten out your legs like that. There, you're doing it. That looks so good. How flexible would you say you are? I mean, I've done like acrobatics before, but I'm not the most flexible in the world. Can you do a back bend? Yeah. Place your hands behind your head and push up. But I'm gonna help you push up. Okay. Yes, you're doing it. That's like perfect. I can't that's believe that's your first way. time. Thanks to you, I learned my splits. That's awesome. Ooh, that's we're gonna awesome. have to see that. That's a good split. Sophie just came up and she watches my videos and wants to learn how to do an over split and a bridge kickover. There you go, you're doing an over split. If you're struggling with your back walkover or your bridge kickover, the more you can lean onto your hands, it'll make it easier when you kick your leg to bring your weight over. Yes. There you go. A lot of fans have came up, but now I want to see if I can make strangers flexible too. She looks really flexible. Whoa. Hi. Hi, can I teach you a flexibility trick? Yeah, I'm down. You want to learn this? Yeah, I would love to. Yes, you got it. And now... That was so cool. Can I teach you something for my YouTube video? Uh, yeah, sure. Yes, you can already do it. He told me that he couldn't do a back bend, but that was really good. So I think you've done that before. You could be in a YouTube video. <laughs> Anna, that's my girlfriend. <laughs> Colleen, me, Anna, Anna, Colleen. Hi, Anna. Yeah, Hi. of course I would. We're gonna start with a chin stand. What even is that? I'll demonstrate. <laughs> All right. <laughs> There's an easier version like this. That's the easier version? <laughs> makes sense, right, Becca? Yeah, it totally makes sense that your back was like this. Yeah. Yes. Like hot. Yeah, no, that was really, really good. Wasn't that great? It you was, said it was great. Yeah, no, it was great, baby. Great. It she just great. wants to see something else. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think we can do an <laughs> even better pose. Cool. Yeah. I'm thinking a handstand. Okay, I can do that. Yeah, let's like take that. It. So you're going to bend both legs. Hold it. Your Hold balance it. is really good. Yay, that's awesome. Woo good job, Another baby. success. Even though that was definitely outside of my comfort zone, it was actually pretty fun, so I'm glad Grace got me to do that. I'm now pretty hungry, and I have some HelloFresh meals in my fridge, so I'm going to cook one of those, but Grace gets to decide which one I make. The two options are these sesame soy pork bowls or the red pepper jam pork chops. I personally think this one looks better, so I'm hoping she picks it. Okay, I think this is the hardest part of the video because they both look amazing. Also, thank you so much to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. I'm gonna have Anna make the red pepper jam pork chops. Okay, she picked the one I wanted, so I am very excited to make this. Even though this is my first time getting HelloFresh for myself, my mom used to buy these pretty often and they would always be delicious, so I have no doubt that this should turn out pretty good. I love that HelloFresh delivers fresh produce from the farm right to your door, and what makes it really convenient for me is since I'm living alone right now, I never need like a full package of ingredients, so I love that they send the perfect amount for two meals, so I can have this tonight and then I'll have the perfect amount for left 
leftovers tomorrow night, which saves so much time and money, especially since it only takes like 30 minutes to make their meals. Also, if you follow a certain diet, HelloFresh has so many different options like vegetarian, fit and wholesome, and pescatarian. Guys, I just burned my finger. <laughs> Okay, so this is the finished meal and I think it looks really good, but let's see what it tastes like. I would give this meal like a 10 out of 10. So if you want to try HelloFresh, you can go to HelloFresh.com and use my code McNulty16 to get 16 free meals across seven boxes and three free gifts. I'm just going to enjoy this and then we'll see the next thing Grace is making me do. I'm a little bit nervous to find out what it is. So I recently saw this fitness trend on TikTok. So I want to see if Anna can do it. So it's going to be her next challenge. Even if this challenge is a fail, she still has to post the results. If I have to post this TikTok, that means that thousands of people are probably going to watch it. So hopefully I can do the trend. I've never actually seen or tried this one until now. Squat, knees, and what? <laughs> Squat, knees, sit, leg, leg. I think I got it. I thought I got it, but I missed a whole section. Squat, knees, sit, leg, leg, cross, knees, squat, leg, leg, and that's it. Okay, that was a lot easier to learn than I expected, so let's do the TikTok. Over 3 million people ended up watching me try this on TikTok, so I'm glad I didn't embarrass myself by not being able to do the trend right. It was actually kind of a fun trend to learn. Since that was super easy to do, I'm going to try to make my own flexibility version of the trend. So the next thing I'm making you do is get a haircut. I think she needs one. It's gotten way too long. It's now the next morning, but the 24 hours is not up yet. So I'm on my way to go get my haircut. I really do not want to do this because I like my hair the way it is now. And I've also never been to this hairdresser before. So I really don't want them to mess it up. I'll show you guys what it looks like once it's done. So hopefully it turns out okay. Grace didn't say how much I had to get cut off. So I told the hairdresser to do whatever style she thinks will look best on me. This made me very nervous because I had absolutely no idea what she was going to do. What I am hoping for is a very minimal cut, but I think Grace wants more than that. It's now time to see my finished hair. This is what my finished hair looks like. She only cut off like an inch, so I'm really happy about that. I think Grace wanted me to get more cut off, but I definitely didn't, so I'm really happy with how this turned out. I honestly needed a trim anyways because it's been a while since I've gotten my hair cut. If you're also happy that I didn't have to chop off all of my hair, make sure to like this video and also subscribe to my channel if you're new. Bye guys!